Hi, it's Nat Hoy from Red Fox Property Group and behind me is 77 Burkett Street in Bedford. Right, the top three things that I love about this home. Number one is the super-sized 658 square metre, you heard it correctly, 658 square metre lot. Where do you get a subdivided lot that's that size? You don't. Normally I'd be saying for front character homes, don't bother extending, you'll overcapitalize, you'll lose all your backyard. With this one, that is absolutely not a problem. And it's on a corner as well, giving you fabulous side access. Number two is the character home itself. Great mid-century features, gorgeous fireplace, beautiful floorboards, you'll see those soon great bones, good sized rooms, love it. What a fantastic canvas to work with. And number three is value. And there's two parts to that. Firstly, it's gotta be the land value with that wonderful block. And number two, the fact that you're not overpaying for somebody else's reno. You've got the potential to add value to this one yourself. Let's have a look at the home. I'm going to start with this gorgeous front yard. You can see this beautiful picket fence that's just been added. So it's nice and secure out here. You have got so much space to play with. It is just fabulous. And because it's a corner block, you've got wonderful side access as well. If you need a workshop or garage, there is one there. It is pretty original. You probably want to replace it, but it will certainly do in the interim. Then let's have a look at the house itself. Lovely, typical mid-century facade. You've got beautiful sash timber windows. You've got a really lovely little porch here. We'll go through and then have a look at the home itself. So lovely, typical entry. You can see the high ceilings, you can see the picture rails, but check out these gorgeous floors. These have all been recently polished. So there's been a partial reno done, there's been some painting, there's been the carpets were lifted, the floorboards were polished, but otherwise there is plenty of opportunity for you to add your own stamp. And yes, we're doing floor plans, hello, <laughs> while we're here as well. But look at those gorgeous timber windows and that beautiful original brick fireplace and curved mirror. How glorious is that? If you have a look at the floor plans, that'll give you the room dimensions. That is a very generously proportioned living room. Here on the left, yes, I think I've got that right, is the first bedroom and again the proportions in this are fantastic you can see those beautiful timber windows we've got a queen size bed we've got wide bed sides either side you can see how comfortably they fit split system aircon plus fan and obviously plenty of room here if you want to put in built-in robes as well I said before just love the space on this one we will go through to bed three, sorry, bed two. So again, great proportions, plenty of room here if you want to put in a wardrobe. Again, the timber windows. Again, we've got a nice big, I think that's a double, could be a queen, um, size bed, but bed sides either side. And you can just see the great spaces that we've got. I'll swing around. We've got the dining room through here. I'll come back to that shortly. We've got the original linen closets sitting there and we've got the bathroom. Now the bathroom has had some updates. It is tidy, but it's got some original features as well. So you can see that the vanity has been replaced. So that is super tidy. And I'm a big fan of the retro tiles. Sorry if you're not, but I think they're pretty cool. How good are they? The bamboo and the beautiful original bath. It is just lovely. Shower overhead and you've got the shower rail there. So really neat and tidy and able to obviously be eminently, eminently lived in as is, but probably something that you would be looking to put your own stamp on. 
Now let's have a look at the kitchen and dining. So the kitchen is a really large room and you've got more than enough to put meals in here as well. Um, but you know, you've got, you've got all the necessities, you've got water, you've got an oven, um, you've got plenty of space for freestanding, adding more benches over here. So there was some old stuff there, we've taken it out, it was a bit daggy. But this will give you a sense of the proportions of the room. Again, split system aircon up there, lovely little shelf over the oven, sink in the corner, and this gorgeous dining room. So you've got the double width doorway here going into this area, just a great space. Let's go through to the black. So this would, as you know, have been the original sleep out. I'll quickly swing through to the laundry. This is a really great size. And if you want to do a basic reno, you would be probably knocking out the wall with the toilet, or you could keep that there. And you would be making this the laundry second bathroom. You have so much space here for shower and bath and laundry and cupboards. And there's the loo there as well. So a really, I think, good little idea to get your two bathrooms easily. Great little sitting study space here. And then we are through to bed three. And you can see that there. So we've got the double bed in this one. We've got a bedside and there's also plenty of room for a wardrobe in there as well. Or, you know, at some point, knock the whole back off and do a beautiful contemporary extension. It would look fabulous. Right, let's head out the back. I'm going to start at the back corner for this one because it's really the only way that you get to appreciate how much space is out here. Look at this. Isn't it a cracker? The size of the yard is fantastic. I will go up and show you the X or the space on the other side of the house as well. But you've got this wide side access here on the left. You've got the house itself. You've got these amazing lawns. You've got all of this extra space behind the um, garage at the back. Look, the garage is just as is and that will be sold as is. There'll be no warranty on that one but it is, you know, it's what it is. It's great for chucking extra storage and stuff in there. I'll come around to the side. You can see that there is side gate access off the road as well. And I'll just give you a view again at how much space is on this side of the house too. So let's swing around. So you can see you've already got a covered patio here and then just another view of the backyard. Plenty of room to extend, plenty of room for a pool, plenty of room for a massive workshop, pretty much plenty of room for anything really. So let's talk location. You're at the preferred end of Bedford, just 650 metres from Beaufort Street and the 950 bus, which during peak hour is every couple of minutes, into the city or if you prefer closer to home just around the corner 350 meters away on craven street you can hop on the number 68. chisholm college is about a 1.1 k stroll you've also got the inglewood social precinct and the start of inglewood about 1.2 k's away but for something closer to home you've got the bedford iga and popular our table restaurant within about 500 meters Lifestyle, home style, beautiful residential location. What is not to love? Call me now 0405 812 273 for more details or see you at a home open. Have a great day.